Hello YouTubers, this is Victoria. So I have these chromas here that I'm going to transplant today. Uh, they don't have roots at the bottom, but they, they have a few roots showing. And I'm going to actually just transport them over to this pot. And as you can see, this pot is moist because it rained this morning. And um, I had a pepper plant in here, a tomato plant, actually. And I guess the wind snatched it off. So I'm going to put these four chromas in here. So, all right, loosen up. See, it has a small root right there. Well, that's actually not a root. But it does have very small roots. Can't see them, no. And I'm going to put that boy right in here. And the, you, don't worry, the um, soil is moist, but so is this soil over here because I watered them earlier um, when I first got back home. I watered them. So they are a little on the moist side. But it's okay because I'm not going to water anymore. And I'm going to just let them dry out in the house. They're not going outside. Actually, you know what? I might just let them sit outside so they can dry a little more. I'm trying to get it to stand up straight. Okay, now we're going to make another hole. I'm going all the way under. I know the, it's not rooted and I know the stem is not that long, but I want to make sure I don't touch the stem. See, this one actually doesn't have any roots on it at all. I don't see anything on that one, but she's actually the biggest, so she's still getting planted. Okay. So now I'm just going to sit these guys outside, get my grass cut. Let's look at the stubs while we out here. Nice. Look at that one. These are so translucent, I don't know what's going on with that. My lawn man's out there making all that noise, so I couldn't talk outside. 
I got these babies this morning. Um, this one, let me see what her name is. Whew. All right, um, Margarita. Okay. And you see how beat up she's looking because Home Depot don't know how to take care of any type of succulents. She's alive. Stem looks great. So we are going to pray on her. This one here is my second one. I'm not sure what her name is. I don't know. Um, darn it. Because what the cat, the thing that she's sitting in is not the same of what she came out of. I knew her name. I don't remember her name right now. But anyway, Calicopia is what I want to call this one. Calicopia, Blossom Fina Dina, Blasta Dina Bina Bina Dina. I don't know. But I uh, saw some videos on this one this morning. I'm like, okay, let me go get one. And I saw them at Home Depot yesterday. I also bought this one last night. Okay. And I didn't like this one at first, but uh, I saw somebody post that they found them in the, in the woods of Connecticut. And I'm like, okay, it's cold in Connecticut, so maybe these are last in Chicago. So I'm actually going to let her grow a little bit during the summer and pot her in a bigger pot and let her babies just do whatever they want to do. And I'm going to sit her outside in a couple of weeks to see if um, she can last through the uh, summer. And then I'm going to leave her out during the fall, see how long she lasts here in Chicago. So... All these are my new babies I got last night. One, two, three, four, five last night. And these three this morning. I think I have a problem. And you know what they say. The first thing is admitting you have a problem. I think I am addicted to succulents and I need some help. Does anybody know... The addiction line for succulents. Because I need to join y'all. Because I know it's a lot of y'all in that group. <laughs> uh, that's addicted to succulents. I didn't know I was um, going to love these plants as much as I do. Now, this is crazy. And this is just the living room. I actually redid this area last night. This rack was in my bedroom with this pole. It's on other videos. So this is what was in my bedroom. I took it out. Ah, look at my pearls. I took it out, brought it up here, tried to make more room. So this is what we have. Everybody has black gold. If you can see all that black gold, y'all know what the black gold is, right? Worm castings. Everybody has it. Even my babies, my Etreveras right here, they are not rooted. But you see this black on top of the perlite? That's the perlite and the um, topsoil underneath. And right on top, right where that root is sitting, is the black gold, baby. Black gold, baby. I have not watered any of these Etreveras. Since I got it and beheaded all of them, I'm not going to water them. They're going to sit here. And until I see a root, I'm not watering them. You know, these are jelly beans. But does anybody know the for real name of them? Like, are they just jelly beans? Because I don't think these are donkey tails. I don't believe these are donkey tails. And I've been, I'm looking for donkey tails. I have a lady... Miss Kathy's going to send me some donkey tails. Look at my jelly bangs. She's getting big. Big, big, big. So happy. What is this one? I think that's the same thing. Because I, I believe all these came together and I just separated. Oh, no, no, no. Those 
two. And this one is the same. They, the three of them came together, and the four of them came together. They are not the same plant, I don't think. I'm not 100% sure. So if anybody knows what his name is and what their names are, trying to get a good picture of the rosette on top. There we go. And then this one. So it's definitely different, but I don't know the names of them. Okay, you guys, um, that's all. I just wanted to show you my new babies. And I put her in a different pot because I had her before and for some reason she died. I mean, like, just rotted it out. So I put it in a new pot. I left her the medium that was around it and I just put some more medium on it. There is some worm cast in, inside of this. It's mixed in. So sitting in the water, watering from underneath. Um, I got them last night and they were, I'm, I'm sorry, I got these today. They were pretty dry. So I'm giving them a little water. This one, I'm um, going to let it sit a little bit longer because I changed the medium. I changed the pot. Uh, put some extra medium and worm castings in this pot to help it out. So I'm going to just let that water kind of soak it up a little bit. And actually, um, it's just going to soak up the bottom part. It's cool because I just want the roots to be wet. I really don't want the whole plant to be wet. It takes too long for them to dry out. So, that is all, you guys. Um, anybody have anything to tell me about these plants? I will appreciate all comments. And um, I want to do some, some uh, trading, some swapping. So, if anybody's interested in swapping something for what I have. I am, this is actually a beginning start collection. But as I propagate more and get more, I do want to sell and uh, trade and swap. Who knows the name of this? I, I asked that on another video and I haven't gotten a response yet. What is this? <laughs> I got this from Home Depot. It was in an arrangement with some other stuff. So I don't know what the name of it is. And I'm hoping that I'm taking care of it right. But you see... Leaves are falling off like crazy. Can you propagate these leaves? I don't know. I'm going to put this leaf. Where is it? In my camera. There it is. <laughs> I'm going to put this leaf in uh, my propagation area. And that's right under here. Underneath the table. I'm going to just sit it on top and see what happens. So, I don't think I'm going to get any success from it, but we'll see what happens. So, now that we're down here. Oh, boy. Uh oh Nobody has any roots. I don't see. Uh-oh. I see one. I see one. Hey, that's what's up. We got roots. Yep, you see that. Roots for that one. But I think that's the only one. I have some that's translucent. Oh, man. And it's a root on that one. Shoot. I think I'm going to leave him. I'm going to take him because he's dead or is going to die. Hmm, maybe I should just leave it. And let's see what happens in the next couple of days. Since that one has a root and it's translucent, that one might grow a root too. And I don't want to throw it out if it's going to uh, be successful. Um, is that a root? It's pink, but I'm not 
I don't think that's a root. So, people say it's easy to propagate jades. Uh, no, it's not. Because this jade been sitting in here for a little while now. And uh, one side does have a little burn on it. So, maybe that's what's wrong. I don't know. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I got another one that got roots. Yep, yep, yep. Two. Oh, wow. We got another root. Come on, camera, focus. Yeah. Well, you see it. You can see it. You can see it. I'm actually, the ones that has the roots, I'm taking those out because we're going to put them somewhere else. I want to keep them separate. So I know who is growing and who is not. Um, what I plan to do, what I'm doing, I have maybe one, two, right now three propagation areas or three propagation containers. This one you see is all the leaves and we are, all of these are calloused over. And I'm just waiting on roots to grow. Then I have one. Um, I lost my uh, my black prince yesterday. He died. He's gone. He's over. And I saved a few of his leaves. So they are they are actually over. Hold on to this one too. They on the other side over there, and I'm just going to uh, leave them over there to see if any roots will come up. So when so the thing is, when I pick them off, they're gonna sit in a little tray with no dirt. They just gonna callus over in that. Then they're gonna come over here after they callus over and go into this um, tray. What I do every day is come over here to make sure. I have some that's either rooting or if they're dead, they need to come out so they can make room for other ones. So the ones that uh, are rooting, we're going to take out and then we're going to put them in another tray uh, where it will start their babies. And that's actually um, the tray with the space to make its own plants and to grow in there. I don't know what you want to call that thing right there. It's in that. So once the plant has some roots and it's about to let go of its mom, then I have another container that I'm putting those babies in and those babies actually you can see the babies you really can't see the um, leaf anymore now what I did and it's just uh, I'm just trying it out because I don't know for sure if it's going to work I actually put the leaf underneath the soil so the the root is under the soil nothing sticking up but the baby so i will show you that in a few seconds let me just finish doing what i'm doing just trying to see if it's anybody else with any roots do i need to move anybody uh oh well that's pink but there's no roots on there so that's it for this area here this one is still translucent but it's still thick right here. It's not it's not soft. So I still want to wait on that one. We're going to still sit that one there. Okay. All right. Let's put that back. Let me just slide her over. Um, you know when they say direct light or indirect light. So it's light in here because they right by the window. But I got it at the front door. Windows. And it's sitting on the floor. So I'm hoping that's enough direct light. 
Um, see how dark these are? Yeah, because I set them outside in full sun for one day. And when I brought them back in, that's what was going on. So here's this other area. So once they start having roots. Can you see that? Let me see. Wait, there you go. You see it. So once they start having roots, then I bring them over here. And I'm just going to sit, sit them on the side, let that root get in the dirt. Like that there. And this one. Now. All right, so I have to give them just a little water. Right at the root. Just so their root can get wet. I did these earlier, so I'm not going to do them again. And I think I have one more. That's it. That's how I water them. Just a little water. And that's it, you guys. Um, I think that's going to be it for my updates. At least for a couple of days, there's nothing else to do. I have to just wait and see what else happens. If anything happens, I'll let you know. And if anyone has any comments, please like and subscribe. And leave me a message. And if you uh, want to send me some good stuff that I might enjoy, let me know. Because I'm, I'm open to that. I'm open to trade and accept gifts. Okay? So thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.